Hey y'all, long time no see. I'm blonde now. The day is twins owl listening party. And this is what we are wearing. Yeah, we're about to go party. It's giving Mary J. Blige, Faith Evan. See y'all there. Uh, I don't even know what to say. What am I doing? This is your album release party. Yes, yeah, the second one. The first one didn't really make the cut. Yeah. There's geese poop everywhere. Hey guys. I am on the way to brunch right now. We're going to see Sissy. Sissy's in town from Boston. So we're going to our favorite brunch spot. Can you guys guess what it is? It's nice and quiet here today. You hear the birds chirping in the background. It is Thursday, May 2nd. I be trying to keep up whatever with whatever the day is for y'all. Because I'm really bad at that. We have a lot of stuff coming up. This weekend, I'm getting the car detailed before our trip. I'm silk pressing my hair this weekend as well, so say goodbye to the curls. Um, and then next week is graduation. I'm excited, y'all. I still have to finish out one last project for my class, um, this last class that I'm in. Pray for me. I'm almost done, y'all. We almost done. And my stomach is growling because I'm starving. Y'all want to come with me? Okay, come on. Look who's here! With my sissy. She's so beautiful. Split by the maid and a sign when Straight forward and eyes on the crime Guess who got a microphone? It's me elevating my content to the next level for me. What about you? What is it for you? Hey y'all, uh, welcome back to the channel. It is a new week. Um, right now I am working on some artwork for my water wall. I'm gonna put my favorite albums on my CD wall just like tacking them up there with some putty right now putting the putty on the back of the of the artwork and then of the posters and then i'm gonna put them on that wall over there my my tinashe t-shirt is so cute hey tinashe yeah i went to my twins um album listening party it went amazing i'm gonna try to insert a few clips we had a grand old time we had an amazing amazing time um his album sounds amazing i actually just recorded like a mini review for him because he's going to compile all of the attendees personal messages to him into a video and so i just recorded my version of the video for him um and said really nice things about my twin how are y'all doing? What are y'all up to? But yeah, what are y'all up to? Okay, so <laughs> the last time I was on here, I literally was telling you how I have a new job as a tax advisor. Well, I actually am leaving that job. <laughs> I actually just got um, offered a new position um that's actually more in my line of work for what my degree is in my master's degree and it's something that i've been praying and hoping for for a very long time and i finally got it so um it feels so surreal though but it taught me a lot about how like things sometimes you don't chase you attract sometimes you don't go after your goals sometimes things are just kind of handed to you <laughs> in a way um 
if it's meant for you you will have it in in divine timing and when it's right for you to have it because i was content in you know my position and where i was headed i was like this is good this is this works for me and didn't have any i didn't have any grandiose expectations for like the next six months or to a year so for this to kind of fall right into my lap it just kind of showed me that some things just take patience some things just take time and you're not gonna receive them until you're absolutely ready for it but yeah yeah i just wanted to check in with you guys we had a time mm. last night well, we had a time, time last night, last night. Ah. and um yeah there was pizza there was drinks everyone had a good time and people were dancing enjoying themselves good clean fun you know sometimes you need a break and to have good clean fun with the people you love uh but let me know how you guys like the new microphone like is it giving anyways i have a couple of videos coming up for you guys astrology wise i know that you guys enjoy the um pluto and aquarius video and a lot of people ask me like how can i find my rising sign so i know what is what for upcoming videos and stuff I got you. I'm about to film an Astro Basics video where we go over your sun, moon, and rising and how you can look those things up, what they mean to you. I also have like an idea for a podcast in the works. Um, I'm really excited about this idea. I'm like, uh, how can I pull it off? How can I bring it to life? I'm excited about it though. Y'all let me know what y'all are thinking as far as the astrology stuff what do y'all want to hear about what do you want to know let me know see i'm about to put these up on the wall and you know what's cool is i made these from a template that you can find um the spotify um code and that way when people are in my room or whatever they can just scan the code and play it on their phone and if they wanted to they could hook it up to my cd player's bluetooth speaker and play it out a lot basically you're your own personal dj in my room okay i'm gonna i'm gonna see y'all later everyone i'm at my twin's place and i'm helping him set up look at all the progress that we've made so far you just got here you see i just helped him put that up right no, there you've been sitting down the whole time this is my favorite corner right here i put so much work into that <sighs> aren't you guys proud of me bye hello guys i just got out the shower from washing my hair this is probably the only time you will ever see my hair in this state because i never wear my natural curls like this but i'm about to straighten it and silk press it so i wanted to show you guys a little bit of the process i'll say goodbye to the curls but they are giving though honestly for my natural girlies get you one of these easy detangling brushes they cut the detangling time in half and it's as you can see it's gliding through my hair at this moment uh this is, has been a real game changer for me i bought this like a year ago and i save so much time on my hair now I'll get you one of those they're in the hair store too you don't even have to go online and get it So that's one section now. In comparison to the shrinkage. Crazy, right? A lot of hair. Graduation is this week. So today is Monday, May 6th. And I graduate on Friday, May 10th. Um, we are leaving to Utica, New York on Wednesday, May 8th. And so 
I am basically getting ready for my trip, doing all my maintenance myself. I'm a self-made girly. I just like to, it's probably easier for me to go and run around and like have someone else do these things for me. It probably would save me like time, but I don't know, I've, I've always known how to do these things for myself. Like when I was younger, I had a lot of time on my hands and I would just do my hair, do my nails, do my makeup. Like practice, you know? If you know how to do those things for f and you can do them for free, like why wouldn't you? Pouring outside, I thought it was like hailing for a minute. It's giving hurricane. <laughs> It's giving hurricane season. So we have graduation. I've been doing so much. Like yesterday I went out with my twin. It was his sister's birthday. So it was also Cinco de Mayo. Um, so we went out to our favorite Mexican restaurant. Tex-Mex, I should say. It's not, not authentic Mexican <laughs> cuisine at all. We had a blast with that and then he just like moved into his new place. I was like helping him set up and stuff and get stuff ready the way that he wanted it. And so we're doing that, but then I totally forgot. Like it's just this past week have like blurred into each other because a lot of things came up that I just was not expecting. Albeit good things, like you know, me leaving my job and like getting a new one. Um, and then I was finishing up my last course of the last semester. We had a final project. I was, you know, trying to make sure that that looked good and was to our liking and everything. We got a hundred percent and the professor wants to use our final project as an example. So, you know, so hard work pays off. But yeah, I just been like running around like a chicken with my head cut off because I just had like so much to do that I kind of forgot like I need to be getting ready for graduation. I probably should not have gone out this weekend because I've been getting ready for, you know, my trip because i didn't realize like i'm leaving on wednesday i don't know why in my head this whole time i've been thinking like graduation is on friday i'm thinking like oh i have until friday to get everything done no i haven't until till i have until wednesday now i have only two days today's monday i have today and tomorrow to get get my life together today my university they sent an email talking about like you know the procedure the walking and everything and it just made me like so emotional because I just feel like I'm, I'm not only graduating with my master's degree, like, yes, academically, I'm, I finished and got my accolades and my awards and stuff, and I feel so accomplished, but it also feels like the ending of a personal chapter for me. Like, I feel like I've gone through so much these past two years since I started my master's degree, pursuing my master's degree, and I just feel like a lot of things have happened in my personal life and that have affected me. But they all have made me like more confident, more self-assured, like mature. I've been able to make better decisions for myself and just overall mature into the woman that I, I want to become and want to be. I feel like that has happened over the past two years while I was pursuing my master's degree. And so it just feels like um, it's all coming together, you know, like this. The, me getting my master's degree feels like the marking of a chap, the ending of a chapter for me. Like I said, not only academically, but in my personal life as well. I feel ready for new beginnings, ready to see where life is taking me. I'm really scared, y'all. Like, I don't know how my hair is going to hold up because they're calling for rain all week, both here in Virginia and in New York. Just pray for my hair. Ready for my hair this week, please. I'm gonna keep it covered. I'm gonna keep it wrapped. Like, I'm gonna probably keep it wrapped to the minute I hit the stage. <laughs> This is the Babyless Pro Titanium, and I really like this one because your hair is cool to the touch after you, you run it through. It's not. Titanium is better for natural hair girlies. Ceramic is for non-human hair, <laughs> not real hair, and non-curl, non-curly hair. 
So if you still use a ceramic on your natural hair, put it down. I'm also excited to visit upstate New York. I have been to New York City and Staten Island when I was 18. I'm curious to see what it's like up there. I've heard that Utica is kind of like a small town. Not too much to really do up there. But I am, you know, looking to see where I want to relocate. So I'll be looking to see if New York should be an option or not. I always said if I did live in New York, it would be upstate. I don't, but I don't have any reason, any reason to want to go to New York City. Like, I just don't, I'm not interested in New York City. A lot of people, like, that know me personally, they are very surprised when I say that based off of my personality, I guess. They assume that I would be like a Carrie Bradshaw, like, you know, want to be up in Manhattan, New York City. <laughs> This doesn't seem like my cup. It's a little too city-like for me. I actually enjoy not suburbia, but like a step above suburbia, I guess. Like a little faster pace than suburbia, but still has like a suburban feel. I'm a city girl, but not, I don't want to be in the heart of the city. I want to live on the outskirts. that's my hair i'll probably see you guys tomorrow i'm going to um look up some nail inspiration ideas on pinterest so i could show my nail lady what i want i kind of just want to do a simple like ombre like classy french ombre i still have to do some homework <laughs> tonight yes i started my thesis class so my thesis has to be 35 pages by the end of the semester. Each week is like three pages of your thesis is due. Yeah, so I'm about to go do some homework, finish packing, and get some sleep. I'll see you guys tomorrow. the library right now seeing if I could pick up some books for my road trip I want to pick up some James Baldwin I think that'll be a good read got my James Baldwin I'll be ready to read this weekend on my trip hey y'all so I'm about to try on my graduation dress and regalia here it is a cute little ensemble from Fashion Nova. This is the About the Business blazer dress, mini dress, in extra small. I paid $27 for it. Looks really classy and sophisticated. I'm about to iron it and try on my regalia. Here's the cap and gown. So I finally made it to Utica, New York. Welcome to my hotel room. <laughs> my mom is taking pictures of me. Eight hours later, I'm here. I'm tired, have a headache, but I'm glad to be here in the hotel room. It's really nice. Had to like get some stuff ready for my upcoming position, you know, 
the grind never stops. Also, I just started my last class, my last semester of my master's degree. And in this class, I'm gonna have to write a 35 page thesis, which I've talked about already. We had a class last night that I actually missed. I'm gonna have to watch the recording to catch up. But as you can see, the grind never stops for me. I'll sleep when I'm dead. This is all the blood, sweat, and tears I put into getting this degree. So I'm gonna soak up this moment uh, over the next few days. Enjoy. I don't actually graduate until Friday the 10th and it is currently Wednesday the 8th. So I have a little bit of time to myself. So I have a little bit of time to myself to explore the city. Um, so far, it's like kind of in the middle of nowhere, but it's like once you're here, it's suburbia. It's like a, it's its own little city out here. It's kind of cute, but to get here, you gotta pass goats and cows and piglets and deer, horses, <laughs> and only one way roads. So if you can get through that, you might enjoy it here. But anyways, I will check in with you guys tomorrow. I'm going to go to sleep. Bye. how tight and lonely it must have been, but also the spirit to never give up and fight for what you believe is right. I've also felt pieces of the Berlin Wall in my hand, 
finally connecting what I read in books to real life. The row is called by the marshal with a master's degree candidates in financial crime and compliance management. Please come forward. Board of Trustees, faculty, staff, family, friends, and guests, I now present to you the graduating class of 2024. I'm so very proud of you on this day. I wouldn't have missed it for the world. You did it. You got that Master of Science degree. As I always knew you would. You didn't hesitate. You wasted no time. So the best is yet to come. Miss Professional. I love you. Love you. Graduation is over. Officially a two degree graduate. Thank you all for all the well wishes and congratulations. Thank you to everyone who has been a part of my journey these past two years. All your kind words of encouragement. You are much appreciated and all of your gifts. Thank you.